to take you guys with me on a you know mini adventure today because i've been in this little depressive episode i don't know if it was my period my clumps but my depressive my depressive episodes look like me just wanting to be alone all the time not answering my phone not picking up no calls not doing nothing but just scrolling like bitch i might be active but i don't want to talk but you know, usually with me, I don't be noticing that I'm in those states until I come up out of it. So the past three days, I've literally been sitting in my room, just not doing shit, not not pursuing, not taking care of myself. Just, you know, just laying here, eating little shit. Like, I need to be outside. I need to be seen. I need to be on my shit. P's and Q's at all times. So today, we snapping up out of that. What time is it? It's 12.34. One, two, three, four, and a time of period. Mm -hmm. It's 12.34, I'm about to um, hit the nail shop, get by me a week, um, probably buy me a couple of outfits or one my, um, you know, just hit the city, you know what I'm saying, I might stop at the Galleria, you know what I'm saying, we, we gonna get some footage today, cause, yeah, you know, as a content creator, you know, sometimes you're not gonna be in the mood all the time, that's factual. Anybody who in the mood all the time, bitch, your ass not human, you a fucking machine. Humans, we have emotions, we go through things, so. You know what I'm saying? It be times where I'm not always in the mood, but sometimes you, you gotta bring yourself up out of that. I ain't got nobody around me to, hey, snap out of that, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta snap out of that myself, you feel me? It might be people around me who peep my energy, who might say something, but I don't really get, like, no. <laughs> get up, try it, you know, whatever the fuck that shit called. Support, real support, like, you know, I got a couple people who might fuck with me and might send me a little text here and there, but real support, hell no, I gotta get up and do this shit for myself, so I'm gonna get up <laughs> and do this shit for myself and, you know, get myself right and break you guys with me for the day, so tap in and, you know, yeah, stay tuned, I guess. Okay, y'all, so if you haven't already, please watch my last vlog right now, okay? In my last vlog, I um installed a synthetic wig, okay? Did a little review on it, had it on for a few days. Bitch, I took that shit right out. As you can see, I had just bought a wig from a girl in um Houston, Texas. I forgot her name. I will link her in in Instagram down below. She makes wigs. Da -da -da -da. I literally bought the wig as it is. I literally threw it on my head right then and there. That wig was so fat. And it's um, Indian, I think, raw Peruvian here. That's a phone case I got from the mall. And that's some Japanese Kit Kat candy. It was so good. This is me stopping at the Nail Day Spa. This is a spa. It is a nail shop, but it is a spa mix. Like I said, if you watched my last, last vlog, then you saw that I went to the nail shop to get my feet done. And this vlog at this spa, I will be getting my eyebrows done. I was trying to find a place that do eyebrows, like how I be going to people in Chicago. Well, baby, I'm not in Chicago no more. I'm in Houston at the moment. And yeah, I end up looking up a place, you know, looking through their pictures and shit. Because, baby, as you can see, my eyebrows are thin. What you see on my head is the thickest my eyebrows is ever going to get, okay? So, I do not play about them. I need somebody to do it and do it right. So, as you can see, she's waxing me up, honey. Waxing them eyebrows, doing her job, period. I love me a good eyebrow wax. After she gets done waxing them, she pulls out this thread. Long piece of thread. I said, hold on, baby. What you, <laughs> what you doing with that piece of thread? You know, because I never got my eyebrows threaded. I seen the process. Da, 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 da. It looked like it hurts. And like I said, my eyebrows are thin as fuck. So she was like, oh, the, eye, um, the threading process is good. It lasts longer. It's more effective. And I'm like, well, does it hurt? I never got my eyebrows threaded before. She... Um, the pain is not that bad, and uh, you know how people make it sound good, but you know, I do have a high pain tolerance, so I was like, mm, let me just try. So, this is her proceeding to thread my eyebrows, honey. And I'm not gonna lie, she got them in good, good, good shape. I was a little nervous, you know what I'm saying? I kept peeking through the process and shit like that. I'm glad she allowed me to record this process because a lot of times when I go to different shops, whether it's a hair salon, nail salon, most of them don't like me recording for some reason even though i don't be recording them so i didn't record her out of respect for her 
But I could see that she actually didn't mind. This She's actually a beautiful woman. Yeah. So, that was so cool. this is how my eyebrows looked it after they was done getting it. threaded. Okay. They came out very, very, very nice. And actually, okay. till this very moment, my eyebrows are still in that shape. So threading is going to be my new self-care maintenance, actually. So thank you, Miss Lady, for that. I didn't get a chance to film her. She um, mm -hmm. gave me like a mini little eyebrow facial with some aloe vera gel and stuff like that. Very refreshing. It definitely just highlighted that experience for me. This is me walking next door. It was a tattoo shop next door right after I left out the nail shop. So I decided to go in there, motherfucker. I literally walked right in. I saw some people sitting down. Walked right past that ass. Whole time, them is the tattoo artist. So I ended up um, turning back around because I was walking past and shit like that. It was like, hey, where you going? I was walking to the booth to see where the damn tattoo man's at, and that was them laying on the damn couch. So I came in there, got to talking to them and shit. Um, yeah, I got to talking to them and stuff like that, recording myself and shit. I got to pulling up some screenshots in my phone of tattoos that I screenshotted this year, last year, year before that, the year before that, and the year before that, bitch. I got tattoo screenshots in my phone all the way from goddamn 2014, 2015, some goddamn way. So I'm just showing him all the tattoo suggestions that I actually like. And girl, boy, whoever's watching, child, this channel is for every motherfucking body. But child... I literally came in that waste this motherfucking time because baby i ain't even getting no goddamn tattoo i was thinking about getting a tattoo and a piercing but i'm very 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 picky i only have my mother's name tatted on my body and it's like oh my gosh it's like i had that tattoo since i was 17 that was the first tattoo i got with a friend of mine's back in the day and child i, I ain't getting none since then i've been very picky so this is me traveling to another area of Houston, Texas to, you know, get a breather, go outside, catch some fresh air, and get on my laptop. This area is called Memorial City. If you're from Texas, especially Houston, then you will be familiar with this area. This is like a nice little mini town, I like to call it. This is the city center of Memorial City. So probably about like 20 minutes from Houston, not far at all. Very nice, a nice outdoor scenery. Got lots of different restaurants, clothing stores, an outdoor setting where kids can go outside and play. Lots of them play soccer right there. Got this nice waterfall thing next to these benches where you can sit down next to it. I just like to walk around the area. I stopped at this cupcake shop. It's called Sweets. They sell cupcakes, uh, macaroons, cake, muffins all the above anything you could think of uh just all the sweet stuff it reminded me of this phase i had when i was like 11 12 i know y'all remember the show uh cake wars i was gonna say coke wars oh lord goddamn cake wars well i used to be a fan of cupcake wars so this restaurant little mini store bakery whatever you want to call it reminds me so 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 much of that i love those um pumpkin um Rice crispy treats very much um creative um when i zoomed in the menu it was when he told me some fucking apple juice costed um like six dollars i'm like what the fuck kind of apple juice y'all got that cost six dollars then he ended up showing me well i paid for it first i paid for a fucking one cupcake and some apple juice and that was ten dollars that was the apple juice he told me though so i'm familiar with this kind some fire ass apple juice okay guys i got my um cupcake with this expensive ass orange juice just good as hell if you know you don't
wind was blowing hard as fuck. Damn. But the cupcake was so, so good. The cake itself was nice and fluffy. The icing was buttercream icing, which is my favorite. 10 out of 10. <laughs> These waffles are from a restaurant called The Waffle Bus in Houston, Texas. They were so fucking good. I ordered some more. So delicious. 10 out of 10. Good morning. We back. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, October 25th, 1023 a.m. I just dropped my friend at work. Um, I'm gonna go get her some tacos right now. She said she wants some tacos. They got um, dollar taco trucks and shit like that. So, I'm gonna get her some tacos. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Give me a little Starbucks bite for the morning and shit like that. And yeah, whatever else I plan to do, I'm gonna have y'all ride with me. So, stay tuned. It's a nice, this is a nice angle. Please do not fall. Y'all wanna ride with me? Come ride. Right. Type of flavors you gotta try them all. I get a <laughs> Black people love samples. One thing about it, I saw some um, like instances and candles and stuff. That's my type of party, too. I gotta come back. So, as soon as you walk in, you see literally all the other small businesses setting up their tables and things like that. This is me coming inside to help my friend. She works for a black owned independent popcorn company. And she's the administrative administrative, excuse me, assistant for her. So she's running a pop-up shop for her for the business today. The name of the business is called Papa Rossi's Popcorn. You can find them in Houston, Texas as well. They have all these different flavors: kettle corn, cotton candy, caramel, hot wings. Butter popcorn, movie popcorn, butter pecan, dill pickle, uh, cheddar cheese, shit. I heard she even got banana pudding flavors. All type of flavors. Like, literally, like, this is the menu. That's literally all the popcorn she had. And that's not even all the different flavors she had. After she was setting up, um, I pimped off to this table, which had these different soaps and candles and incense. That's my type of party right there. Um, this candle right here, as you can see, is made inside of a real coconut shell. So that's a real coconut shell with wax in there for the candle, which I thought was real cute. I said, I'm going to come back for that. This is me hours later. Um, well, not too long. Probably like two, three hours later. Um, at McDonald's, I had ordered me some little breakfast. And now I'm fixing up my hair and shit. Up in the damn bathroom when I stopped to use the bathroom. That's just always me fixing my goddamn hair and shit. Spraying on some perfume. I always gotta spray some before I go. Okay. That's me adding some stuff to my notes as I think about it. Because if I don't put it in my notes once I think about it, I will fucking forget. Okay. Now I'm washing my hands. Y'all know what the fuck going on. I ain't gotta tell y'all everything. Where this lady go? This pregnant lady just walked up to me talking about, I'm pregnant. I'm homeless. I'm hungry. Can you buy me something to eat? I just bought her some breakfast. A whole fucking breakfast. I don't know where she go. Where she go? Outside? You see a lady out here? Yeah, she in that black dress. I don't know what dress she had on. She black. And she look pregnant. Oh, there she go. I was looking for you, girl. before i went to the restroom the lady um saw me and asked me could i buy her something to eat she was hungry she was pregnant she was homeless so i ended up buying her the big breakfast with the hot cake sausage pancake orange juice i got it originally for myself but i ended up getting it for her and just got me the sausage biscuit and wished her a blessed day the food too sit and enjoy it don't rush really enjoy your food baby Okay.
Highway. In 5 miles, take exit 8A onto I-69 South and US-59 South toward Victoria. Do you know anyone day? 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 I'm up in pleasure zone trying to find me an outfit. <clears throat> So much cute shit in here. All the Halloween parties today. I'm browsing in Pleasure Zone through their different aisles, looking for a costume for the weekend. Um, as you can see, they got all the sexy costumes, honey. Okay, Pleasure Zone got that shit. If you know, you know. Okay period okay you see that motherfucker was packed up this was um halloween weekend so you know halloween this year was on a tuesday so this was the weekend before that this was the friday and that bitch was packed i'm in there looking good as a bitch though and that's on period no tampon she want to be in my video so bad um i ended up seeing this um scooby-doo costume in the window so i'm like oh y'all got scooby-doo she was like yeah so she told me where it was in the aisle. I looked through the aisle, but all I saw was an extra large size. I'm like, y'all ain't got no more smalls? She was like, nah, woo, woo. So I go back in the window. I see a mannequin with it on. I'm like, can I buy it off the mannequin? She was like, yeah, but you have to buy it right then and there. And da, 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 da. Girl, I bought the outfit. Still had the sensor on it, and I ain't even go outside. I end up doing some shit for the homeless kids, period. this is the next day i believe i'm in the car um i had got these press ons from the beauty supply literally nine dollars and 99 cents bitch round it up that's ten dollars bitch okay i'm in the car playing my carmelita i hope i said her name right carmelita fox she's so good when she you know speaks about real life shit and yeah i'm just applying on my press ons as i listen to her youtube channel period Okay, y'all, so they ended up coming out pretty cute. Very, very cute. Like I went to a motherfucking nail tech, period. I love the designs on them. I love the rhinestones on them. One thing that I do that's ghetto as fuck, I must admit, is that I keep my um, index finger and my thumb finger without nail on my right hand, which helps me roll up easier and smoke easier. I know that's ghetto. Um, I'm the only bitch I know that put on lip gloss before I smoke. But yeah, getting me in a smoke break in the morning. Put my little nails on. Got my Car Carmelita Fox going on in the background. I love listening to morning motivation in the morning. Like, music just don't be doing it for me how I usually do. Like, I need a good morning motivation, good podcast, something to get me going. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds later. My Okay, y'all, so your girl done put up to Applebee's. I don't know about y'all, but Applebee's is so motherfucking good to me. I love their fucking um, Cajun chicken and shrimp meal with the roasted mashed potatoes. And I believe it comes with broccoli. Yeah, I get it all the motherfucking time. And I'm about to get that shit again. This is me adding up my calculation. Okay, because when I think about it, I get some meal, an entree, a motherfucking drink and a dessert this is me looking at the dessert menu and now i'm putting my order in and shit like that y'all one thing about it i always i be by myself a lot like i'm used to being around people but i know how to be alone so i'm just out to eat alone and 
vibing vibing with myself as these times are needed this is the drink i ordered this is like a spooky margarita drink it looked like a glow in the dark it was so cool and tasted so good i paired it next to a um ketchup bottle to show y'all how big it is like that was a big fucking drink for five dollars this is my meal the meal is so good it'd be so good i thought it came with broccoli i must have laughed and this is the dessert i got it's a brownie chocolate lava cake brownie with some vanilla ice cream this is me praying over my food and this is me digging in child one thing about it i don't play with no food honey it gives e e e she fucking that shit up on my soul Child, me and the girl early in the video I was helping set up the popcorn with end up getting into it, child. However, I went outside with her girlfriend people. They invited me out to the Houston Rockets game. They was like, Do you wanna come? It's my birthday. Da, da, da. I got some extra tickets. I was like, hell fucking yeah. Me and friend was supposed to go together. But bitch, I don't give a fuck about no bitch having no attitudes, no nothing, da 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 da. da. Baby, I'ma do a story time on that. But anyways, I wasn't finna miss out on no free tickets to the Houston game, okay? And that's just on period. As you can see, the girl who birthday it is is right there with that Versace dress, period. She looked real cute. Um, Long story short, by the time we got there, bitch, it was like the end of fourth quarter. So you know what that means? That means game over, okay? I was kind of blue about that. So I ended up going to this restaurant. A friend ended up taking me to this restaurant. Ended up having this cute-ass panini sandwiches with some champagne and some wine. The next morning, I went to Snooze AM Eatery. It's a fat-ass breakfast spot in Houston as well. Um, we went in there, got some breakfast. I had some um, berry waffles with eggs and hash browns. After that, I packed my shit and got dropped off to the goddamn airport. Because guess where I'm going, bitch? Back home. I'm finna go home. On my soul, baby. I didn't had enough for Houston, Texas, honey. It was cool when it was cool, but I had enough, honey. I'm ready to go back. The fuck home. Story time about Houston coming soon. So yeah, guys. So I'm sitting outside right now, chilling, chilling like a strawberry villain. Yeah, ain't this bomber jacket fat? I bought this from the store. I was like, I ain't had a bomber jacket in a minute. That motherfucker was fat. Period. I'm bringing bomber jackets back. Okay, y'all, so at this point, I am now in the airport going through TSA, and one of my bags is getting looked through, of course. He ended up taking out all my perfumes, my nair. I had a bunch of hair shit in there. That's me still sitting there. He's literally going through every single thing you could think of. All right, now, do my spiritual cards right there. Hmm? Do my spiritual cards right there. I figured as much. Mm hmm. You're uh, very handsome, by the way. Huh? You're a handsome man. <laughs> I appreciate you mind saying hi to my vlog? Huh? You want to say hi to my vlog? <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm That white chocolate man was very, very handsome. Mm hmm But this is me on the terminal train going to Terminal A because that's where my plane is. Okay. I had got that suitcase the same day from Walmart for like $29. That's a fat-ass suitcase. It's like a carry-on size, though. It's not like a big-ass suitcase. But it was so cute. I love the cream color. This is me traveling. Once I got to my terminal area, I stopped at the nearest food court. Um, through all the options, I ended up going to Panda Express. Please don't mind that wet stain on my jacket. I had ended up washing my hands before I ordered my food. This is all the food that they had, honey. I was looking for that bourbon chicken. I couldn't find it. I'm like, y'all ain't got no bourbon chicken? They was like, yeah, it's going to take about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. I was like, um, am I going to wait? Am I not going to wait? I wanted to wait. I wanted my chicken to be fresh anyway. So after they told me 10 to 15 minutes, I sat down with my computer on my phone, clocking that 15 minutes, honey, because I was hungry. After that 15 minutes, there go that bourbon chicken right there, baby. I ended up getting my plate and going to my Just seat to board my flight. I can say if I got raped, but I can, oh, get the fuck out my face. Or something. I didn't do that. I do none of that. You know how I am.
yeah that was somebody who had got off a flight that was going through that but this is me sitting down eating my food this is us lining up when it's time to board the plane as you can see there's a little birdie ready right there and i am now seated ready for my flight let's go This is when we finally in Chicago. This is how the city looks. I love how my city looks at nighttime. It's so beautiful. So many lights, so many buildings. So beautiful. All that dark space that you see to the left is the lake. That building right there is the Sears Tower. Yes, I still call it the Sears Tower because who the fuck is Willis, bitch? We are now landing. This is the guy who paid for my bag. He paid that $99 for me, child. He was waiting on me at the door to get that money back. But I told him that I would. And now this is me on my way home. Finally, on my way back home to my mom's house. This is us riding. Um, in Chicago, the airport is on the north side. So once I see downtown us riding past this, I knew I was close to home. So this is me on my way home. On the expressway, I got home to some good ass Brotel. I don't know about you, bitch. But I love me some good Brotel, okay? Thank you guys. If you stuck to the end of this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Please like this video and please subscribe for more because I got a surprise for you guys on the way.